So this video seeks to do two things. First, address the issue of why women make you chase them. And two, to give you reasons why it's a bad idea to actually do that. Draw closer and stay tuned because I've got some very interesting pointers to share with you today. Welcome, Jessica here. In today's video, I'm giving you three reasons why men should not chase women. Now I have my ideas and theories about why chasing women is actually a bad idea and can completely distract you from what the bigger goal and your bigger life's purpose should entail or entails. So if you'll indulge me, we will jump right in. There are two reasons why women make you chase them. The first one is that she probably is not that into you. When a woman is really into you, and of course, depending on her age, level of experience and stuff like that, she will be more than willing not to drag things out just because of the thrill she may feel about being chased. So now when a woman really likes you, it's quite easy to see, you know, in her speech, in her availability, in her body language, in things that she does when you are around. However, if she, you're the one who seems to always be doing the chasing, then you're in trouble because it means that she's not into you. She probably has multiple suitors and you're not the top on her list. So she would want you to work a little harder to win her. Okay. Second reason women make you do the chasing is because she probably is not feeling safe with you because she's had some really bad previous experiences where the male gender is concerned and is being wary. So she has all these barricades and walls up in a way to sort of protect her heart. And so she would let you actually work really hard to, you know, win her affection over. And she feels as if the harder a man is willing to work um, for her affection and her attention, the more dedicated he will be. Um, that usually though is not the case. And we can have a separate conversation about that, that there are some men who just chase for the thrill and not necessarily because they want to take women seriously. Right guys? I'm right, aren't I? <laughs> Anyway, so, I mean, top of mind, these are two main reasons why women make men chase them, all right? They're not that into you, or they've just had really terrible experiences and want to be sure that you're actually who you say you are. Now, <clears throat> let me give you three reasons why I believe that men should not be chasing anyone. Now, for starters, I feel as if if your main focus is to chase a woman, it diverts your attention from actually pursuing the things that I think really matter in life. And that's you. What are your goals? What are your aspirations? What is it that you want to do with your life? What are your dreams? Now's the time to make those dreams come true. Now, if you're busy spending time chasing women instead of chasing your dreams, then a couple of years down the line, you're going to realize that your dreams are even harder to attain and you've wasted a lot of time. So I think rather than chasing, you know, women, focus on your dreams. And guess what? Once you do become successful, guess who's going to be chasing you? I didn't hear that. Who? Yep. Women, right? So don't chase women, chase your dreams. If you successfully manage to check those dreams, the women will come. Number two. Now, the second reason men shouldn't chase women is because you come across as desperate and sometimes even pathetic, especially when the feeling is not mutual, the love is unrequited and so much more. Now, listen, I've had a personal experience with a guy who just did not want to take my no for an answer. And in this case, I was not even trying to play hard to get. I genuinely did not want to be with him in his space. Didn't even want to be a friend because now I personally didn't find him attractive. Um, and it cut across. It had nothing to do even with his looks necessarily, but there was something about his personality that just didn't seem to gel with mine. Anyway, so long story short, this guy kept pursuing me, kept calling me, kept wanting to see me. And I wanted nothing to do with him because whenever I was around him, my skin crawled. 
Um, and I don't want to put too much out there because I don't know if he'll ever get to see this video and I don't want him to feel um, bad about it because I'm sure that he'll know exactly what I'm talking about if I go into details. But all I'm saying is if I were a guy, the minute a woman said no to me, I would probably just walk. Like if I was trying to make an effort to get to know her and I got any kind of negative vibe, cool, cut my losses and I would move on. And I think that's what a lot of men need to do because you see, if you do get that kind of woman who already knows what she wants, is a go-getter herself, or has really big dreams that she's personally trying to smash, then, you know, um, this would become a really big turn off for her. One, you're desperately looking for her attention. She's told you in more ways than one that she's not interested, but you keep pursuing because you feel as if the more you push, one day she's going to give in. No, back up, back all the way up, my brother. Back up because it does not work. And trust me, if you have to work too hard to get someone's attention, consider this. It actually might mean that you're coercing her into a relationship with you. Now, who wants to beg another person to be in a relationship with them, especially if they're not interested? Waste of time, waste of energy, waste of money, okay? So whatever it is, do not chase women. You come across as desperate, you come across as pathetic, and, you know, just cut your losses and move on. There are, of course, quite a number of fish in the sea. Mm -hmm. Number three. Now, I believe that whatever you start, you need to finish. If you begin a relationship with a woman and you're always the one doing the chasing. For starters, when you met her, you actively chased her, pursued her. Um, and over time, yes, you were successful. You won her attention. Guess what? She's now the prize. You're going to have to work harder and over time to be able to what? maintain that attention that she's giving you. You put her on a higher pedestal just because you're the one who does the chase. Where on another level, I believe that you could actually level the playing ground if you do not chase. Yes, you can make yourself available, you can let her know your intentions, but to chase, no, you wouldn't do that, okay? If she's also someone who is used to having men chase her, she's gonna be wondering, why isn't this guy chasing me? And then her attention is going to suddenly switch to not see all the guys who are coming her way, but you, who's not even paying attention, really. Why does that happen? Her curiosity will be piqued, and suddenly she'll be more interested in getting to know you. Of course, this does not happen every single time, but the times that something like this has occurred, one of the reasons is what I just mentioned. So I guess what I'm really trying to say is, if you start to chase, you continue to chase. In that relationship, it's always going to be you working a little harder to make things happen. It's always gonna be you making the extra sacrifice to keep the relationship going because you already set the precedence for chasing. Trust me, you're probably going to be the only one working overtime to maintain that relationship. And over time, you'll probably also get very worn out and tired of always being the one to try. So basically, don't start what you can't finish because you and I both know you're not gonna chase her for the rest of her life. You came to the relationship with some level of aggression, with some level of commitment, with some level of promise, and she is going to want to demand those things constantly to keep the relationship going. And you, on the other hand, may not be in that same position. I've heard men say, maybe even in jest, why do you continue to um, campaign after the election is over? There's no need to. So whilst you're cruising in the relationship, she's demanding so much more of you because you already set the precedence and you're gonna have to maintain it. My thoughts, let me know what you think in the comments below. My name is Jessica. Smash the like button if you like the video. Don't forget to subscribe. Turn on all notifications as well so you get a notification every single time I post. Thanks for watching and later.